Hey guys, I just got off the plane and I look so bad. Oh my god, I look terrible. I look so tired. This weekend I slept, I think maybe nine hours. Um, you can see like the bags under my eyes. I slept like three hours yesterday and the night before I think I slept like five hours and then the night before I slept like five hours. So I am just really worn out and I think I'm not going to feel the effects until um, tomorrow. So this weekend I went to um, um, Vegas and I'm there like all the time and people ask me why I like to go to Vegas and I like to go because I honestly I love like the music I'm like I really like music I think that's why I really love YouTube and editing music or editing videos and then I um, I really like I like the music I like kind of just the atmosphere and I like how for women it's free so I think it's really cool that you know <laughs> you get to go to almost like a concert hosted by like David Guetta or Calvin Harris um, for free which I think is really cool um, and I love dressing up and stuff like that so that's basically why I love Vegas it's not I don't really like to party uh, I, I don't really drink that much because of what I'm going to get to but I just I think it's just like the music the environment and the fact that I live so close I might as well take advantage to it but I was in Vegas because um, um, my friend had um, organized an MBA conference with a bunch of business school students and it was just super interesting because I was planning on going to business school and my whole track in life was going to go to business school at Stanford um, and then I wanted to work in venture capital or I wanted to do like marketing for a tech startup um, but now I feel like I am so much happier where I am now but I do kind of want to like audit classes at business school so I'm going to just find out if I can just show up to certain classes around here um, things like taxes and accounting and intellectual property and just a lot of stuff like I just need to learn how to do this because the hardest part of running your own business is you just don't know like sometimes how to like you're, you're just like you're basically trying to build a rocket or a, a, a parachute like coming down an airplane you're, like you're trying to put it together like trying to figure out how to what is that you're trying to figure out how to land while falling off an airplane or something so that's that um so where was I even going really super tired I just don't feel motivated to make YouTube videos right now it's the motivation is getting a lot less and I think I've talked about this several times but I feel like to get you know to get to a point where you sustain your viewership and I know my views aren't that great because I just I don't really want to put in the effort of making a nice setup and making it so professional and I feel like that's what you need to compete and I just don't have that energy in my life to do that I want to focus more on things that are meaningful to me um so yeah maybe I'm just gonna start doing hauls with a webcam because I really honestly want you guys to get to know me not get to know the production the content or the editing you know I'm not like a entertainment person I don't ever want to do entertainment because I think it's very hard um, for someone like me to have like some kind of mask um, or you know not be truthful or honest. Not not saying that entertainment people aren't, but you have to put on a show because that is like what entertainment is. Um, okay, so recently I've been getting really bad migraines, and I've always had issues with migraines. Um, and I know I complain about them a lot, and I know like every single one of my friends is super super <clears throat> every single one of my friends I'm sure is like totally annoyed at the fact that I always complain about migraines but I have migraines all the time um and it's getting so bad that I am I think I'm addicted to ibuprofen um so when I was in Vegas I really tried not to drink because I heard that taking um um, Excedrin or Tylenol and ibuprofen and alcohol can like you know cause people to have liver failure so I didn't know what to do so I decided to take ibuprofen and I wasn't sure if ibuprofen would kill me but I've been taking a lot of them throughout the day and I take them every day now because I get a migraine when the ibuprofen rubs off 
And I don't really know what my problem is. I've been, last year I went to like a few neurologists to figure that out. But no, they didn't really tell me what was going on. They basically, like I feel like American medicine, they just tell you like what kind you need to like mask the symptoms. But I like want to know what's going on, like what is wrong with me. And um, the problem started when I was like maybe 16. But now that I'm getting older, I feel like it's happening all the time. And I am, I've am i noticed that I'm getting older. I Like, when I do things, I just realize, like, I'm not as, like, fast. And, like, when I try to think of things, my, like, mind takes a little bit of time to process it. And I just feel like my body is, like, already, like, can't take certain things because I'm getting older, you know? Um, and I think the migraines is a symptom of that. So... If you guys have migraines, I would love to know what you do to treat them. I know dehydration is one of them, so even if I'm at a club, um, I will pay like $11 for a bottle of water because if I don't, I'm going to get a migraine the next day. But I get a migraine regardless, really. Um, so I've been drinking Pedialyte, and I was just reading some reviews on Amazon of like, what is it, these products. Um, these like powder products that help with hydration and for like marathon trainers and athletes. So I'm going to get some of that because I think a lot of the reason other than hormonal is dehydration, but I drink so much water. So maybe I just can't like absorb the water. Um, I'm also very red because I spent like eight hours in the sun on Saturday. Oh my God, Saturday, so much fun. I went to brunch and then the pool party and I was there for like six hours and I was trying to stay in the shade and then um, went out to two different places afterwards. So I'm super, super tired. Um, um, but yeah, I am reading. Okay. So I am reading a lot of books on Audible, not Audible. This is not sponsored by Audible. Uh, I'm reading a lot of books on, um, on stuff, on business stuff. So right now I'm reading The Everything Store, and I'm reading it on my phone, and it's really great because I want to have a goal this year not to go on my phone for, like, stupid shit, like, stalking people on Instagram. I want to, like, actually take the time and read, like, good content and books. So I'm reading The Everything Store by Amazon, and it's really cool because I feel like, um... I can totally relate to kind of the story, not saying that my company will be like Amazon, but, you know, the fact that Jeff Bezos, he um, would buy, like, these books from these wholesalers, and then he would sell them on Amazon, um, and then he'd try to find, like, ways to, like, get the shipping costs low, and, you know, just trying to be very resourceful in the early days, and they stored all of their books in their basement, started shipping them out, and they're, like, shipping, like, like they had to increase their... Um, offices and make a huge warehouse and have all these facilities and you know Amazon started being the online retailer for books but now it's the online retailer for basically everything and while I think Amazon is terrible for everybody else except the customer <laughs> um, I think they do an amazing job with the customer which is why I shop there and my credit card bill from Amazon is ridiculous because I buy everything from there and um, Love Amazon, so I've been reading that book and I really like it. And one of the quotes that really struck me off, struck with me was, um, let's see. Um, he says, "When you are 80 years old, and in a quiet moment of reflection, narrating for only yourself the most personal version of your life story, the telling that will be the most compact and meaningful will be the series of choices in the making." you have me. In the end, we are our choices. And so I think that's really powerful because um, we cannot control anything but our choices in life and you know how you react to them. And everything that we do is really a choice amongst us. I mean, you think why certain people are successful and certain people aren't. And I think it's really <clears throat> the series of choices you make. And you can't blame anybody but yourself or <clears throat> anything, really. Um, I think you know, a lot of times we try to not blame ourselves, but really you have to look at yourself because you're the only one that you can control and you have your own choices. 
um, that you make that affect the outcomes of things. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, what else? Um, sometimes I'll look through my pictures and see like what I took pictures of, and maybe that gives you a, a insight into what I what I um, read or what I think about. And also in Amazon's book, um, it said that um, his parents, Jeff Bezos' parents, didn't want their accomplished son to leave a well-paying job on Wall Street to produce pursuing an idea that sounded like utter madness. Jackie Bezos suggested to her son that he run his company at night on the weekend. And I just totally related to that because my parents were so behind me starting my company and they were just like freaking out. Um, to the point where I like didn't mention that I quit my job to them, and I was surviving off, you know, 20 grand a year um, with no help from anyone, and uh, and uh, I just relate to that because you know when you start your business you're just like totally strapped for everything, and then um, you work really really hard, and then hopefully you know hopefully it turns out well, but I mean not every business will turn out well. You know I had things that didn't work out before, and you know so it's a risk, right? But, they don't work out, but hopefully eventually uh, something will work out. And yeah, I am extremely, extreme. I'm not exhausted, but I'm just, I feel like everything's a little bit slower because I'm, I haven't slept for so long. Um, and oh, I was, I was talking to one of my like best friends. I love her so much. I just forget how much I love her until I talk to her because she's like somebody who's like, almost like a, 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 a mentor, not mentor, but like I, when I have a critical life decision, especially about boys, I like ask her and I really take her opinion into consideration. You know, there's a lot of people I don't really take their opinion into consideration, but I really take hers um, for whatever reason. I trust her judgment. So I was talking to her and I'm trying to figure out, you know, what I want for my life, like do I want power? Do I want fame? Do I want fortune? Um, and I think what I want out of my life, and I and I remember this like quote my friend said that most people don't actually want to be loved. Most people just don't want to be played the fool. Like most people don't want to be betrayed or played the fool, right? They don't want to be lied to or feel like they were taken advantage of. Um, they want that more than they want love. And I think that's so true <laughs> for me. I, I think I'm very, like, fearful of, you know, being betrayed or lied to or being taken advantage of, right? I don't care if you treat me well or, like, I don't care if I'm loved, but I don't want to be taken advantage for someone else's, like, you know, scheme of things, which is why I think I'm a, you know, I do everything on my own. I initiate a lot of stuff because... I don't, I don't want someone to, like, use me to get somewhere else. Um, so I think I like control because it allows me to be able to have my life the way I, I envision and want it to. Um, so power is not necessarily, like, something that I strive for, but I think power would probably be the most, um, similar to maybe what is important in my life. Fame, I don't really care about fame. I mean, that's fun, but it's not a priority. Fortune, I think to a certain extent, money is important, but after that, it's like you don't really, you don't really need um, an Hermes Birkin, right, in 30 different colors. Um, so I think for me, I think having control is important. Being able to live a life that is on my terms is very important. Um, and having that flexibility, I think, is important to me. <clears throat> so, you know, I really do want to have a family, and I want to be able to keep my current career and have a family, and because I have my own business, I'm able to schedule it in a way that is best for me. Um, and that's really, really important to me. You know, I, I don't think I would take on a job, like a really, really prestigious job, even if it paid a lot, um, 
if I couldn't spend it with my family. Um, so that's just something in my life that is important to me. And so we just talk about what's important to us and, you know, you have to really think about it moving forward because at the age that I am at, there's a lot of decisions that need to be made that will shape you for the rest of your life. And sometimes I honestly am so overwhelmed with the amount of decisions I have to make. Um, but I always tell myself that, you know, I did what I could at that time with all the information that I had and all the experiences that I had and any mistake that I make or any regrets that I make. I can't blame myself because um, I did what I could at the time. So, yeah. So I guess right now it's like trying to find out what is important to me. Um, the next thing is that my friend, she also has an executive coach. And I think I need to look into getting an executive coach because I need <laughs> executive coaching skills. I feel like I need like a mentor in my life um, or someone who I really respect and admire who is a self-created woman and um, is very, you know, ambitious and has a hard time fitting in, I guess, with normal or with other women. Um, So, um, okay, so I'm going to go to sleep because I'm really tired and, um, and I'm sorry this video didn't make any sense, but I really want to keep it as authentic and not edited and not scripted as I can um, because this is me and this is who I am. Um, what else? It's just strange being with all these business school students. Um, um, because they just seem to because they just seem to <sighs> it's strange being with these business school students because I just felt like they didn't understand what it what it's like to put everything on the line and to put your face out there and to uh, you know take all this risk Because I I think I took a huge risk putting my face out there, you know, um, and, you know, this product out there. It's just putting things out there and not knowing if it's going to work out. And I just feel like, I felt like a lot of them is just like, oh, you know, I read through this book and then I study these questions and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I have an accounting exam and I need to learn all this, but like for me, it was like, I don't even know like where to begin, you just like do it. And I just felt like I didn't really connect because they didn't understand, they didn't really understand. And I'm getting, I'm getting emotional because, um, sometimes like, I don't think, I don't know, I just think that, I, I, I guess I think I'm so proud of what I've done, and maybe I could wish that other people would recognize it, because maybe it doesn't have the same, I guess, prestige factor at, at face value, um, um, because it's not, like, you know, super prestigious, um, or because I'm not written up in TechCrunch or all those other publications, um, but I'm just, I guess I'm really proud of everything, and so I'm very hard on myself, and I don't know, I don't know, um, I 
I'm very hard on myself, so it's just it's just weird to feel proud of something. So. Okay. Next, oh, and then, well, I was going to say about some stuff at Clinique. Um, but I'll talk about that later. So I will talk to you guys later.